Evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, fine. And, and you, teacher? Fine, too. Ready for okay. action. Thank yeah. You. Uh, teacher, I am. I am meeting the. Uh, de las 8 a las 8 y 30. Tengo una pequeña reunión. Así que me voy a conectar y luego yo me, me incorporo totalmente con cámara y todo. Pero sí no puedo obviarla, así que. Ok. Ya no problem. Let's begin. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Here. February the 7th. Ok. This is class 10. Uh, we're going to be working on how to use enough to modify adjectives. How to use enough uh, to modify okay, adjectives. However, I have put also how to use enough to modify nouns too. So we have nouns and uh, the general use of enough. Okay, my friends. <clears throat> Let's continue. Welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This is the general objective. Okay, this is the objective of the unit. Okay that we're about to finish, right? The unit that we are about to finish. Okay. This is the class objective. How to use enough to modify adjectives. Okay, my friends. In the agenda tonight, we have something like a classification. We're going to be classifying adjectives into positive in meaning or negative in meaning. You have to decide if they are positive or they are negative. <clears throat> then in the pre-test, we're going to be reading examples using enough. Then in the, pre in the task preparation, we're going to be working on enough and we're going to practice in the task. Then in the last one, we're going to be matching is some words or some terms and the definitions. So this is for uh, today's class. Okay, the warm up classification. But before this, check who's present and who's not. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, welcome on board. <clears throat> Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Okay, Ana Celi Chévez. Okay, Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. <clears throat> Not yet, okay. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher, estoy en oscuro cuando le estaba diciendo que no iba a poder conectarme si fue la energía eléctrica. Uh, no sé si me veo o algo. Yeah, I can see you. Uh -huh. Ok, I... así que, pero, ok, <coughs> voy a ver cuánto aguanta o si viene otro momento. Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. Darwin, Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, welcome aboard. Okay. Yeah, no, no, yeah. okay. I saw Gloria. I saw the picture. Okay. Let me see. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Present. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. Thank you. Jose Carlos Targueta. Jose Carlos. No. Okay, Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. 
Excellent. Nice. Welcome on board. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent. That's nice. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. No, not Nelson is not here with us. Ofelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Excellent, nice. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome on board. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, teacher. Present. Señorita, welcome on board. Rafael Ernesto González. Rafael, no. Okay. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Not here yet. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Not yet. Okay. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Okay. Welcome on board, señorita. I hadn't seen you. Okay. Welcome on board. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Okay, welcome on board too. Yes, welcome, señorita. Okay. <clears throat> Flor de Maria Carballo. No. Okay, Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Welcome on board. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Not yet. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Not yet. Okay. Danny Anthony Siguenza. Not yet. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. I'm here. Excellent. Welcome on board. No, oh, thank you. Welcome on board, my friend. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Ricardo. Good evening, teacher. Nelson Sanchez. Ah, okay. Present. I will put you present, my friend. Yes. Thank you. Welcome on board. Yes. Ricardo is not with us. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez. Not yet. Okay. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Present teacher. I'm here. Excellent. Welcome on board. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Not yet. Okay. So let me see. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Anna Selmi. Tell me good evening. Welcome aboard. Thank you, teacher. Yes, welcome. Nelson. Here is okay. Now you're present, Nelson. Okay, my friends, let's begin. Hey, present teacher, I'm here. I'm here too. I can't hear my name. I'm sorry, I didn't hear my name. But I just want to confirm. <laughs> Teacher Carla Vasquez is present. Okay. Thank you, my present, friend. Present. Present. Teacher present. That's great. Very good. Now let's continue, my dear Nitos. Classify the adjective as positive or negative. Teacher, how can we do that? Well. What you have to decide is, over here you have to decide. Being tall is something positive or is it something negative? Hi, teacher. Hello. I am sorry, I have a problem with my- Microphone. Headset. And Susie too, okay? So don't worry. I, I am taking notes that you were present, okay? Okay, thank you. Don't worry, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> besides this, don't worry. Look, sometimes, uh, well, not sometimes, I might miss uh, saying, seeing that you are present, but in the record, uh, the, let's say the program tells us what time you enter, what time you uh, go out. Okay, so the people in charge count the minutes and then they put the number of minutes in the attendance. 
Okay. So in that case, uh, if I put absent, but you appear to have uh, 60 minutes, for example, you are present. Okay. So I made a mistake, but uh, the system corrects it. Okay. So don't worry about it. Well, not the system, but the people working with the system. Uh -huh. Okay, so my friends here, this one, what we have to do is decide if this is a matter of opinion. If it's in, in your opinion, it's affirmative or negative, you put here next to it a symbol that indicates positive or a symbol that indicates negative. Okay, um, let's have an example. Tall, is positive or negative? It's positive. It's positive, right? For most yeah. people, most people would agree that um, tall is positive. So we put this symbol next to it because we will say that is positive, okay? Excellent. Now in the groups, you're going to discuss with your partners whether the words are, I mean, positive or negative. I'm going to grant the permissions right now. Permissions are here. So let's go to the groups, okay? Yes. It's very nice to have you. We are 27 people present today. So let me see. I'm going to make six groups. Groups are opening right now. The groups are opening, have fun. Okay, my friends. The adjective in the play is or negative or, or, or positive. Here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, classify the adjective as positive or negative. Yes. Mm, tall is for me positive. Tall. Expensive. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> nice. Nice. <story. laughs> okay. Who's going to share the presentation? Let me see. Nadia repetido. Nadia repetido. Can you see? Yes. <clears throat> Classify oh. the adjectives as positive or negative. Okay. Tall is positive and negative. <laughs> Tall is positive. Yes. Hello. Expensive. Is negative. It's negative. Yes. And big. It's positive. Mm. Big. Positive. Big. Big. Mm. Lucky. Lucky. Positive. Positive. Easy. Positive. Mm -hmm. okay. And confusing is negative. Okay. 
Well, Sorry for my line. <laughs> for, for Fortunate. Fortunate. Wow. Fortunate. Fortunate. Mm -hmm. Okay. Small. Oh my God, I think sometimes it's positive and negative because if you buy a, a blouse and you say, ah, oh, yes, it's my size. And when you put it, it doesn't, <laughs> it's not your size. <laughs> It's negative. negative. <laughs> I don't know. Small. It's like big. Big. Uh, negative. Or. 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 Negative. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> because you are young. I, a young man. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and I have 20, 20 and I have 51. <laughs> that way, I'm knowing you. That way. <laughs> I am 39 years old. Oh my God, you are a baby. <laughs> John okay. is, is, is positive, I think, because if, when you are young, you have more stress, you are more stronger. Negative. Negative. Small, small. Mm -hmm. Es la misma. Intelligent. Positive. Good. Positive. Strong. Positive. Hi, chair. Hey, teacher. You are welcome. You are welcome. Please can stay. Hello. What can I do for you? Hey. Yeah. Thank you. Teacher, we, we, we need, um, we need a, what is a, what is a page of the, the work for ah, page our, our, our group? It's page eight. Page eight. Mm -hmm. That's the one. You have to classify the adjectives as positive or negative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Good luck, my friends. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. <clears throat> okay, Susan. The adjective was as positive okay. or negative. Okay. For me, it's easy to say, for example, crazy is a negative. And maybe lazy. Okay. So it's negative. Okay. Negative. Negative. Hello? Honest? Negative. Excuse me? Uh, what? Lazy. Lazy lazy. Is negative. Negative. Mm -hmm. Honest? Honest. Positive. Positive. Emotion? Is emotional? Mm, it depends. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> Correct. But positive. Positive. Oh, esta palabra es nueva. No, ni sé cómo Navy. se pronuncia. Nave. ¿Es correcto, Tich? Naive. 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 Okay. Naive means 
uh, a person that believes everything that he or she is told, a person who believes in pregnant birds, okay? So if, if you believe everything that they tell you, you are naive, okay? Naive. To, naive. Listen to listen to everything, analyze and keep what is good, right? Listen, analyze and keep what is good. So if we believe everything that we hear, we are naive, okay? Naive. Okay. Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Part is negative. Negative. Um, near. Positive. Positive. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Positivo. Positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Y nega, nega, Negative. 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 Okay. Positive. Negative. Mm -hmm. Positive. Okay. O sea, long positive. ¿Ya sí? Long. <laughs> no sé. <depende. laughs> It depends. <laughs> okay. For example, <laughs> sure. if, if you're thinking about, okay, uh, Patricia, imagine that you're thinking about Oh my goodness, I have to go to the bank and there is a long line. Okay, is that positive or negative? Negative. 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 Okay. Okay. If okay. there is a group of people coming to give you a present and there is a long line of people coming with presents, positive or negative? Mm -hmm. Negative. Negative, because the more people, the more presents, right? If the line is long, ah. a long line of people coming with presents, okay, with gifts, that would be <clears throat> yes. Or uh -huh. the more, more people, I mean, after the line, positive. Think uh -huh. positive. Are, are positive, okay. What okay, things thank you. Okay. positive and what things are short and are negative or the opposite. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. What can you do in short? Huh? If you think teacher long is positive, long is negative. So you can put positive or negative, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. <sighs> uh, is short. Short is is the band negative. Uh, you your opinion, Marvin. Microphone, mm -hmm. Marvin. Good night. Good night. Good night. Look at my friends, you finished. Yes, yes. we finished. Yes. We then, were effective. <laughs> effective and efficient. Exactly. Yes. Why, why do you say why do you say that long is possible? No, because yeah. you have enough time for do your, your homework. <laughs> example. <laughs> for example. If you go to the bank. And oh, the yeah. Long line. The line is super long that it doubles around the corner. It turns around the corner and it uh -huh. it's a long line. Positive. Yes, it's negative. It's, it's too negative. long. So then you can say both things. But, but if you yeah. are the banker, <laughs> it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it depends, teacher. Some adjectives, it depends. Uh -huh. All these things in the life is it relative. Can, yes. Are relative. It can be positive or negative. Yeah. Yes. yes. Then yeah. It comes yeah. Exactly. That's right. Okay. For example, short is another adjective. Short can, can be. be Positive. positive or negative? 
exactly. Yeah, because if you have to wait for a short period of time, hey, it's positive. But <clears throat> short budget is not good. Short? Short budget? Ah, yes. If you are short in the budget, it's bad. It's bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Money. Okay. Money. So it can yeah. be positive, it can be negative. If yeah, yeah. the opposite of tall, tall and short. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If I am short and I want to hang on, you know, to the railings on the bus, I can't reach. It's negative. Okay. But it depends. So we're going to say if they can be positive or negative, we can say that they are what? We can call it neuter. We're going to see in a moment. But I see that you finished. That's wonderful. We're going to go back to the main group. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friends. Okay, everybody's here. Now let's see my friends. Um, some of the adjectives can be positive or negative depending on the circumstance. Okay, but let's see. How did you classify them? Tall? Positive, positive right? Positive. positive. Expensive? Negative. Negative. Big. Negative. Negative, right? Or can be positive. Yes. No. Positive. For example, my friends, big can be positive if, um, for example, you like hot dogs, right? And you go and you buy a big hot dog with everything that you like and you enjoy it. It's positive, right? A chili dog. Uh, my cake. A small, 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 uh -huh. is big. My K is big. Okay, so they can be like that. Uh huh. Positive. Okay. For example, big can be positive if your feet are big, and your and your sh the shoes that you buy are big and they fit. Positive. But if the shoes are big and your feet are small, then don't match. That is negative, right? So it depends. But okay, but in general we say it depends. How about lucky? Lucky, positive or negative? Positive. 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 Easy. Easy. Positive. 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 It's very easy. If a man is easy, poor wife. That is negative. <laughs> Not teacher, but it's easy talking about the exam or the homework. Ah, okay, that is positive. Okay, check out here. Confusing, positive or negative? Negative. Confusing is negative. Uh huh. It's negative. Fortunate? Fortunate, negative. Negative. Fortunate? Positive. Positive. Mm -hmm. Fortunate means afortunado. Fortunate. Fortunate. Yeah. Lucky. That is positive. Small? Negative. Yeah, it can be negative, can be positive. Now, old. Yes. What is old? Negative. 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 
kakir. Uh-huh. What is in case of wine? No, 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 is negative. Oh, yes. In case of wine, old wine is very good. Very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, young is positive or negative? Positive. 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 Nice. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. Okay. And we could continue with all of them as you have put them. But what's the purpose of classifying them uh, into positive or negative? Okay. This is the purpose. <clears throat> we use two with the negative adjectives. Okay. So if you have a negative adjective, we're going to use two, okay? With the, with the meaning of negative. Let's say two would be with negative and enough with positive, okay? before a positive word. Okay, for example, expensive. I know it's too expensive. Okay, to receive a present, if they give you an expensive present, positive, right? They give you a Ferrari, for example. Wow, <laughs> it's an incredible present. So expensive in that case is positive, but- yes. If you have to pay for it and you don't have money, it's negative. They say, oh my goodness, it's too expensive. Okay, so we say, I'm going to put here, uh, to play basketball, you can say tall enough. I'm not tall enough to play basketball. Okay, enough. And, uh, uh, Let's say in, big enough, big enough, lucky enough, lucky, lucky. enough, easy enough. No. Too confusing. So we're going to put here two. Too confusing. Fortunate enough. Okay, small enough to carry around. My cell phone is small enough to carry it wherever I go, okay? Enough, old. If you are 18, you are old enough, old enough to vote. But you can also be too old if you are 90 something, you are too old to go out by yourself. If you are a baby, you are too young to go out by yourself. <laughs> young, <clears throat> young enough or too young, okay? Nice, nice enough, okay? Or large enough, like this, smart enough, Okay, smart enough, but too nervous, too nervous, too shy, too shy. Probably you would say too small, intelligent enough, good enough, <clears throat> strong enough. It can be too strong. If it's negative, it can be too strong. Cheap enough. If you're going to buy it, you say, ah, this is cheap enough for me to buy. But if it's a present, it's, ah, this is too cheap. Right? So it depends. But crazy is always negative. So you say too crazy. Lazy, too lazy. Honest, honest enough. Emotional, too emotional, this could be negative, too emotional, 
Uh, it depends. Going to be robotic, right? People are going to be robotic. You people have to have emotions. Like if if a teacher meets you, all of you are wonderful. So the teacher has to love you because you are very nice. Nice students, nice people. Okay. It's very good to work with you. So in that case, the teacher is proud and is happy to be working with you. Okay, so then say, uh, but emotional means that the person it, it goes to extremes with the emotion, okay? Cannot control the emotion. So too emotional, that is negative. And naive is also wrong, it's negative. Too naive, too innocent means that the person believes everything that people tell them. Okay, near can be positive or negative, too near, or it can be near enough. To be space, I'm going to put near enough. So depending on what you want, I'm going to put here enough, long enough. Okay, short, too short. Let's put here, yeah, it's too short, okay. And wide, wide enough. The streets have to be wide enough for cars to circulate, right? The streets have to be wide enough to circulate. Do you have any questions about any of these adjectives? Uh, beg your pardon, would you please repeat? When you use uh, two or enough, enough <clears throat> situation. Yes, let me see over here. If you have a negative adjective, you use two. Like for example, we said that expensive was negative. So we use too expensive, right? Okay. I cannot buy that, it's too expensive. So in that case, it's negative. But if cheap, we say, I can pay for that, it's cheap enough, okay? But like I was telling you, expensive, it depends. If someone gives you a, a present that is expensive, you say, well, if you love someone, you say, no, but this present isn't expensive enough to give my friend, right? Because you love your friend and because you have money. Because sometimes you love your friend, but you don't have money. So you cannot give him what you want, okay? But if you can give him or her what you want, then you say, no, this isn't expensive enough. I'm going to buy something else, okay? It's too cheap in that okay. case. So, okay, thank you. You're welcome. We use enough with a positive adjective. When we want to say the adjective is positive, positive for a purpose, tall enough. Let me go to my board to illustrate the situation. Okay. Let's see, let's check over here. In my board, I'm going to invent, let's see if I can change the color. Uh, let me see. Imagine that this, you have to imagine very much. Imagine that this is a tree. Okay. This is a tree over here and uh, this tree has a fruit. Okay. The, it has a fruit somewhere here. Okay, the fruit is here, but you happen to be uh, this tall. You are here. You are here. Can you reach the apple? Let's say there is an apple. Can you reach the apple? Yes. No. Hey, no, 
back. No. It's too it's too high, right? We say I can't. Notice how we use negative. I can't reach the apple. I can't reach the apple. It's too high. It's too high. Okay. I tell you that it is important affirmative and negative. Why is it important? Uh, affirmative and negative. Okay, let us look at this other guy. Okay. We have another guy here. When do you say? Okay. Okay. Karim Abdul Jabbar. Okay. We have this man. And the man says, uh, let's see here. We have Julito. <laughs> and this is uh, Pedro. No, Pedro, no, Pedro. Okay. And then Pedro tells Julito, don't worry, Julito. I'm told in, I can, I can reach the app. I'm tall enough. I can reach the apple. I'm tall enough. Okay. <clears throat> Notice negative, too high, positive, tall enough. I I can't reach the apple. It's too high. I can reach the apple. I'm tall enough. Okay. So if I have so enough of something, I can do things. If I have two in negative meaning of the word, I can't do it. Okay. Another example. I can't walk. I can't walk to San Miguel from here. I can't walk to San Miguel from here. And you say, why not? It's too far. It's too far. <laughs> It's too far, uh-huh, yeah, it's too far. Okay, that is, San Miguel is too far. I can't walk to San Miguel from, from San Salvador to San Miguel, Whew. walking? No, I don't make it alive. Okay, now, what about you say, uh, I can pass this course. I can pass this course. Why? Because I am intelligent <coughs> enough. I am intelligent enough. I am disciplined, disciplined enough. I'm intelligent enough, I'm disciplined enough. I can pass this course, I am intelligent enough. Can't reach the apple, it's too high. I can reach the apple, I'm tall enough, okay? Uh, I can pay for the Ferrari. I can pay for a, I can pay for a Ferrari, why? I am what? I'm rich enough. I'm rich enough. I can pay for a Ferrari. I'm rich enough. Right? Okay. But the reality, I say, I can't pay for a Ferrari. I'm too poor. <laughs> right? The car is too expensive. 
I can't pay for a Ferrari. It's too expensive. It's too expensive. Okay. Questions about this? No questions for the moment. Okay. Well, that's okay. Yeah. Hey, where is put it? I put it in the, in the small space. That's all right. Yes, tell me, please. The, the adjective uh, no is is a quantify. Yes, it's an adverb. It's an adverb. 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 It's an adverb quantify. Yes, but the dependent occasion is you use to or no. It depends on the situation. If it's affirmative, enough. If it's negative, no. Okay, but we, I'm going to show you how to use enough in negatives too. Check over here. Let's continue with, with this one. Okay, let's move. We have examples here. We use <clears throat> answering, Nelson answering your question. Okay, active enough and infinite. Enough, noun, and infinity. Verb, enough, and infinity. A, <laughs> That you would be evaluated is this one, the first one. Okay. Oh, but check out he isn't strong enough to leave that box. Negative isn't strong enough. What's okay? What's the characteristic necessary for someone to leave the box? If the box is heavy, to be strong. Can he leave the box? No. Why not? because he isn't strong enough. Enough means, check the meanings of enough before we move, okay? These are the meanings of enough. I'm going to put them all here. They have a special box for this. Enough, the meanings. What are the meanings? Okay, as much or as many as required. Teacher, can you make that bigger? Yes, I think that I can make it bigger. Um, as much or as many as required. What's the meaning? <coughs> the necessary, okay? There's too much work and not enough people to do it. There is too much work, a lot of work. And there are three, four people to do it. There aren't enough people, okay? So substitute, substitute enough for sufficient. One of the meaning is sufficient. There, there is too much work and not sufficient people to do it. Sufficient, okay? Adequate is another meaning, abundant, but as much as necessary, the necessary, plenty of, plenty of, an amplitude, full measure. But the one that I, want you to pay attention to, the meaning is principally this one, okay? I'm going to change the color because it's too dark blue. Maybe this yellow helps, okay? This meaning, sufficient. The opposite, of course, is insufficient, okay? Opposite. When you see it in negative sentences, in negative sentences, it means insufficient, okay? So when we talk about enough, it's a sufficient amount, an adequate amount, as much as necessary, a sufficiency of something, an adequacy of something, an ample supply of something. So that would be the idea. Think about the meaning, enough, sufficient, okay? Enough. equals sufficient, sufficient. Two, meaning of two, excessive or excess, right? Two is the meaning is excess. When we say 
Okay, I'm going to help you here with this one. Let me see, I'm going to use again the drawing. Okay, imagine that this is the shoe. Let's make this bigger. Okay, this is the shoe. The shoe. Okay, this is the shoe. Okay. Okay, this is the shoe, imagine. You can imagine that it doesn't look like a shoe, but let's suppose. Let's suppose that this is a shoe. And the foot is this one. This is the foot. Let us also imagine that you have to imagine very much. Okay. Flash feet. Yeah. Okay, this is the foot. So, my friend. Foot, strange foot. Okay, this is the foot. And uh, this is the shoe. It's too small for the foot, right? The shoe is too small for the, the, the foot, too small. This is too small because the, or the foot is too big, right? The foot is too big for the shoe or the shoe is too small for the foot. Okay, let's go back. Let's fall back a bit to where we were. Okay, this one we were, okay? We were here. Okay. So, he isn't strong enough to lift that box. He isn't sufficiently, sufficiently strong to lift that box. She's pretty enough to be a model. She's sufficiently pretty to be a model. I was lucky enough to win the lottery last month. I was lucky enough to win the lottery last month. Sufficiently lucky. The hamburger was big enough to satisfy my appetite. Okay. The hamburger was big enough to satisfy my appetite. Sufficiently big. I have enough money to buy an island. Okay, notice, we use enough plus a noun, enough money, enough time, enough patience, enough, etc. I have sufficient money to buy an island. I have sufficient time to read this book. I have sufficient room to sit 34 people, or there is sufficient room to sit 34 people. There is enough food for a month, okay, sufficient food. Okay, then the last one. He works enough to have a good salary. After a verb, we use enough. Okay, if I sleep eight hours, I sleep enough, right? I sleep enough. If I sleep eight hours, I sleep enough. For me, seven hours. Seven hours is to sleep enough, okay? If I eat three times a day, that should be, eating enough, <laughs> but sometimes no, okay? So he works enough to have a good salary. He saves enough to retire young. They eat enough to save energy for the day. They don't sleep enough to be alert all day. So they sleep four hours, three hours, so they, they are falling asleep during the day, okay? We don't sleep enough to be alert all day. They eat enough to save energy for the day. He saves enough to retire young. He works enough to have a good salary. 
The problem is who told you that if you a lot, you're going to, they are going to pay you more. No, you have a contract. If you work a little, they pay you the same. If you work a lot, they pay you a lot. But God is watching you. He's watching you and you want to do the best. So you want to work a lot for the little money. Not because that is what should be the correct thing, but because you don't do it for anybody else. You do it for God because he's watching you, right? And you do it for your friends too, for the people that you are helping. Okay. So for that reason, you say, he works enough to have a good salary? Yeah, maybe. But does he have a good salary? No, why not? Because that is different. All right, so let's, those are the examples. Now check over here. Some other examples and definitions, enough. Enough goes after adjectives and adverbs. I can run very far. I can't, I can't run very fast. I'm not fit enough. Teacher, what's fit? In good physical condition. In good physical condition. To have this, the necessary energy to do something. I'm not fit enough. Let's go, we've waited long enough. This is when you go to a place, you want pupusas. Can you please give me some pupusas? And I tell you, sure, if you wait. And you say, how long? 30 minutes, oh, it's okay. You sit down and wait. You wait for one hour and you ask the lady and my pupusas, oh, <coughs> three more people. And then you say, no, let's go. We waited long enough. One hour is enough, so bye-bye, okay? Now, compared to and not enough, we have, you never stop working. You work too hard, too hard. You work more than necessary. You're lazy, you don't work hard enough. Less than is necessary. Okay, you don't work hard enough. Means you're lazy, you don't work hard enough. You work less than is necessary, okay? You, you say you never stop working, you work too hard, more than is necessary. You're lazy, you don't work hard enough, okay? You work less than is necessary. Okay, another example. We have enough normally goes before nouns. I can't run very far. I don't have enough energy. Do we have enough petrol? Petrol is gasoline, right? Do we have enough gasoline or should we stop and get some? Okay, enough petrol, enough gasoline. We've got enough money. We don't need any more. We've got enough money. We don't need any more. Some of us had to sit on the floor because there weren't enough chairs. There weren't enough chairs. 30 people, 20 chairs. 30 people, 20 chairs. There weren't enough chairs. Okay, if there are 30 people, how many chairs do you need? 30 chairs, but there were 20. So 10 people had to sit on the floor. We had to sit on the floor because there weren't enough chairs. We also use enough alone when it's after a verb. That is without a noun. We don't need to stop for petrol. We've got enough. We have enough. Compared to much and many or too much and too many, and enough. There is too much furniture in this room. There's, there's not enough space. We cannot walk. We cannot walk through because there isn't enough space because there is too much furniture, okay? Too many tables, too many sofas, too many things. 
there isn't enough space to walk. There were too many people and not enough chairs. Too many people, Ooh, a lot of people, chairs, a few chairs, okay? There weren't enough chairs. Okay, the last one before you can go and practice. Let me see. We say enough or two for somebody or something. Does Joe have uh, enough experience for the job? This bag isn't big enough for all my clothes. The bag is too small. It isn't big enough for all of my clothes, okay? That shirt is too small for you. You need a larger one, okay? So the, the more you grow, the larger the shirt. So you need a bigger shirt, okay? The shirt is too small. But we say enough or two to do something. For example, does, job, does Joe have enough experience to do the job? We don't have enough money to go on a holiday right now. She's not old enough to have a driving license. She's too young to, to have a driving license. If you are 18, you are old enough to drive a car. If you are 17, you are too young to drive a car, okay? Let's get a taxi. It's too far to walk home from here. Okay, check over here. The bridge is just wide enough for two cars to pass each other, okay? Two is wide enough. One car next to the other. Okay, so we can say that. Okay. When do we use two and when do we use enough? I'm tall enough to play basketball professionally. I'm strong enough to lift that box. I can lift it. I have enough time to ex explain that to you. I have enough money to buy that shirt. I have, I have bought enough food to feed an army. I eat enough carbohydrates to have maximum energy levels. Okay, let's check over here. Identify when to use very, two or enough. Okay, we're going to do it this together. Mary's daughter is 18 months. Oh, I didn't separate it. It's 18 months old. Is she too young or is she very young? What do we She's use? very young. Very young, right? The child is very young. It's 18 months, one year and a half. So it's very young. Okay. Then teacher, when do I say too young? For a purpose. Okay. So must mean how old, how old should a person be to enter the army? To be a soldier. Eighteen? Eighteen. So if I am 15, am I too young to enter the army? Yes, you are. Yes, I'm too young. Very right? too. Uh -huh. Exactly. So very young is only statement like that. But when there is a purpose, you say too young for this or too old for this. Okay. Is uh, Susie, is there an age for wearing jeans? Do you think that a 90 year old man should wear jeans or he is too old to wear jeans? Too old for your jeans. Too old? No, he's the same. <laughs> it depends on the, it depends on the type of man right yeah like clean this wears jeans he's old he's old 90 91 years old 92 years old no it's 91 he's going to be 92 in june okay so now let's see the next question what is a child too young to do but an adult 
uh, is old enough to do? What is an activity? What is an activity that a child is too young to do, but an adult is old enough to do? One activity. For example, room, room, to run. running. Okay, running. maybe the child is too young to run, but the adult is old enough to run. Okay, yes. What about getting married? The child is too young to get married, but the adult is old enough to get married. Okay, what other activity? Vote. A child. Practice, practice. A deport extreme? To, uh, to practice extreme sports. Extreme. To practice extreme sports. Yeah, exactly. A child is too young, but an adult can be old enough. Okay, excellent. Who had a good dinner last night? Okay, let me see. Don Ignacio, did you have a good dinner last night? Did you enjoy your dinner? Yeah, teacher, I, I I am finished the dinner. No, no, I'm talking about last night. Last night. Not tonight. Tonight, no. Last night. Um, last um, night was Sunday or not? Yes, right. Sunday. Uh, was it, was your dinner too good or very good? It's a, uh, we, in, in my family, to buy the pizza at the diner. Was it very good or was it too good? It's uh, very good. Very good, right? Yeah, very good, right, yes. We use, we use a very, we use very in this situation. Too good, normally people don't say too because it's good is positive, right? Good is positive. We use two with negative things. Uh -huh. you, nobody says too rich. In yes? the situation. Uh -huh. Exactly. Depending on the situation. Now, the, the other one. Is it very difficult or is it or too difficult to learn English? Difficult. Very difficult. Okay. Very. Like this. Very difficult. But possible. When we say, I know it's too difficult to learn English is when you want to give up. You don't want to continue. I know it's too difficult. But when you say, no, it's very difficult, but I can do it, okay? Five, after you wash your clothes, are they too clean or very clean? What? Very clean. After you wash your clothes, are they too clean or very clean? Very, very clean. Very clean. Very clean. Yeah, because clean is positive, so you cannot use too clean. Clean. Uh -huh. if too clean is possible the uh, uh, expression uh, for excessive. Yeah, when someone is. But the extreme, the extreme, the. Obsessive. When someone is compulsive, obsessive, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you say, no, this is too clean. Come on, keep it a little less, you know, so that you can look human, not robotic. Okay. Yes, it can be. Who stayed up last night? Did you go to bed late last night? How late did you go to bed? Until very late. Very late. very late. Very late. Too late, right? But very late. Very late, not too late. Too late, late. Means when there was a limit and you cannot do the, something else anymore. Like, for example, someone says, I want to see my father. Oh, my friend, you are too late. He died last night. That is too late. But very late is only, a, how can I say, saying that is positive. I mean, in the sense like someone is very intelligent, but he's not too intelligent. 
want to continue being more and more and more intelligent. Two is it's, uh -huh. it's not positive. Late is not positive. Uh, no, exactly. In this case, too late. Too late means that too late to see someone. You cannot talk to the person because the person is dead. So you are too late. Okay. Okay. So the last question: What's your pocket big enough to hold? <clears throat> your pocket big enough to hold? Can your cell phone enter your pocket? Is it big enough? Teacher, what's a pocket? Bolsa, especially in your pants or jeans. Do you wear jeans? Can you put on, well, I've seen ladies that wear jeans and they put the cell phone in the rear pocket, yes. in the rear pocket of the jeans. Is that pocket big enough for a cell phone? Very, very small. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the front, the front pocket is too small. The front pocket of the jean is too small to hold the cell phone. But the rear pocket is big enough to hold it. Okay. So this is the idea for the analysis of when to use big enough or too enough. Now, this is only an idea of how to say it. Check over here. Compare a mouse and an elephant. Is a mouse too small or very small? Very small. Very small. Well, because we don't have a purpose, right? So very small. What's the highest mountain in the world? Say Everest, for example. Is it too high or is it very high? Very high. Very high. Very high. What did you have enough time to do before the class today? What activities did you have enough time to do before coming to class? Did you have enough time to watch TV? Work. Hey, you say work. I had enough time to work. Okay. Yeah. Yes. All right. Did you have enough time to watch the news? Or did you have enough time to have dinner? No. Have enough time to have I dinner. Don't have yes. time to I don't have enough time. Uh -huh. So, okay. <clears throat> What's the difference between the following situations? We don't have enough envelopes. We don't have big enough envelopes. What's the difference? We don't have enough big envelopes. We don't have enough big envelopes. And we don't have adjective. enough envelopes. The adjective, adjective. is the difference, right? Enough big, big envelopes. I need five big envelopes, but I only have three big envelopes. I don't have enough big envelopes. Okay. But the correct or but the correct? The two are correct. Only they have different two correct. Use. Uh, dif different use, use. Yes. Imagine that I say I have I have three envelopes. Three. Yes. Yes. Three envelopes. And I need five envelopes. I don't, okay, I have three big envelopes. I don't have enough big envelopes because I need five big envelopes and I have only three. They're, they're for, for uh, So in that case, what I'm saying is that I don't have the necessary number of envelopes. What happens if I say I don't have big enough envelopes? Okay. The letter, the letter is like this, but the envelopes are very small. The envelopes are not big enough for the letter. That is the second, second sentence, this one. Okay, I hope that you. 
If you apologize for something, do you say that you're very sorry or too sorry? Very sorry. I'm so very sorry. You say, excuse me, I'm very sorry. Okay. What's the sun too bright for you to do? Do you like the sun? Do you go out when it's sunny? Or it's too bright for you to walk in the park? Do you walk when so, it's too bright? Maybe, right? So you say, no, it's too bright for me to walk in there. What can you do if the room is too dark? You can read. Uh -huh. What else? Literally, you cannot see. <laughs> it's too dark, you cannot see. In what circumstances would you say your cup of tea or cup of coffee is too full? When you don't want the coffee or you don't want the tea. I know, too much coffee. And you don't want the coffee, right? But if you love coffee, hey, coffee, okay? Give me more, okay? <clears throat> okay, we're going to practice the exercises, but first I need uh, to call the attendant. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Ana Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. What? Wonderful. Nice. Uh, Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Very good. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Excellent, nice. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Wonderful. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent. Very good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez. Teacher. Excellent, nice. Jose Carlos Arqueta. Not yet. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present. Excellent, nice. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Very good. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. No teacher. Sorry present. teacher, my microphone was off, but I'm here. No. Carlos. Jose Carlos. Or who was it? Okay. Nelson present teacher. Nelson, ah, I haven't mentioned, mentioned Nelson yet. Okay. <coughs> well, yes, let me see. Nelson is here. Excellent. Present teacher, I'm here. Who? Jose Carlos. Miss Jose Carlos. Ah, okay, excellent. Jose Carlos, I'm putting you here present. Okay, wonderful. Then, uh, Ofelia Orellana. Here, teacher. Osmin Baires. Present teacher. Yeah, you're here. Excellent. Pamela Beatriz. Present. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Present. Rafael. Okay. Excellent. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Rafael is here. Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Present. Nice. Very good. Roselena Salgado. Present. Excellent. Nice. Very good. It's very good to have you. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present teacher. Okay. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Zulma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Excellent. Very good. Flor de Maria Carballo. Present. Hey, you're here. Excellent. Nice. Welcome on board. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher. Excellent. Rene. Present teacher. Okay. Excellent. Very good. 
Susana Carolina Hernández. Very good. It's nice to have you. Okay, uh, Danny Anthony Sigüenza. Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent, very good. Ricardo Alex yeah. Fuentes. Ricardo. Present teacher. Excellent, Ricardo. Nice. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. José Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent. And Carla Verónica Vázquez. Okay. Excellent. Present teacher. Nice, very good, great. Okay, now my friends, let's continue. Okay, uh, over here. Oh, I'm going to have to open the file again. Okay, let me see. Close the current tab. All right. Let's see. It's going to close, so I'm going to open it again. Don't worry. It was a, a mistake in the in the process, it says. So okay, I will open it. This usually happens when now I go to, to the task. Here we are. Okay, my friends, in this one, you're going to be discussing why was I asking you questions? Because there is a difference between, the, there is a difference between uh, very, to, okay. When something is very good, it's fantastic, it's very good. Something cannot be too good. Unless you say, ah, this is too good to be true. Ah, to be too good to be true, okay. In that case, yes. But um, very good is positive, very positive. She's very intelligent, okay. However, when it is for negative, he's very lazy. He's too lazy to go to class. Ah, well, that's another story, okay. He's very lazy, he's too lazy to go to class. Okay, you usually use too lazy or lazy enough for a purpose, for a purpose. This is too, okay, the pizza is too hot. For what? To eat it. The pizza is too hard to eat right now, okay? Um, the apple is too high for me to reach it. It's too high, okay? For why? Because I want to reach it. So there is a purpose. Very doesn't have a purpose. It's just like, they are very nice, okay? So that would be the idea. Okay, check out here. Enough as an adverb means to the necessary degree. Enough follows the adjective it modifies. It can be used both positive and negative sentences. Look of your online course front page is not professional enough. The package is user friendly enough. Their product design is not competitive enough for a high, for a high end market. Our after sales services are good enough to improve the positioning of, us, of our products. Okay, just like this. Now let's go to the exercise. Okay, these are the exercises that you have to do. Okay, so basically two, two exercises. Okay, let me see. The food was very hot, we couldn't eat it. So the purpose, we wanted to eat the food, but it was too hot. So the food was very hot, we couldn't eat it. The food was so hot that we couldn't eat it. The food was too hot to eat. Some examples are, these boxes are too heavy to carry. The wallet 
too big to put in our pocket. This chair isn't strong enough to stand on. If you put your foot, it's going to get through the chair. So the chair isn't strong enough to stand on. Okay, now I guess we're going to do exercises. Let me see, this is on page 22 and page 23. Page 22, page 23, and page 24. Okay. So I'm going to send you to the groups for you to, to practice. Okay, we have 31 people present. Wow, that's great. So I'm going to the groups again. And I'm going to make seven groups. The groups are beginning. Please join them. Okay, thank you. Could you leave? Could you see? Yes, yes, exactly. <clears throat> okay, the 22, 23. Right. This and this. Yes. And this completed sentence using enough the following words. Big, short, cup, speed, milk, money, room, time, war, well. Okay, number one. Who is the first? Number one. I can run very far. I am not. Big. Big enough. Teacher. Yes, Laura. What pages uh, work? Oh, you're working on 22, 23, 24. 22. Ah, okay. Let me see. I don't I don't think it's 21. Not very far. I did not. Let me see if it's from 21, no, 22, from 22 to 24. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Complete the sentence. Yes, complete. Yes. The sentences. Uh -huh. um, any share the, the screen, please? As well. Words here. Okay. What's, What's your opinion? What's words? What's, which words? I can run very far. You can use these words. These words. Require cups, fit, okay. milk, money, room, these words here. and well. Using enough. Okay. Uh, they work well. Wow. 
fit, fit enough, and enough, fit, fit enough. Fit enough. Okay. I use fit enough. What? Como poner la palabra joven. I can. We, we need to complete with the sentences the below on uh, presentation. Maybe uh, number three. I would like to buy a uh, car, but I don't have money and enough money at the time. Yes. Uh, fit. I know fit. Um, number four. Do you have? I uh, in the first fit. And uh, the first, I really don't know what what's the correct. <laughs> I can't run very far. I'm not fit enough. Fit enough. Ah, fit. Yeah. Uh, Number two, some of us have to sit on the floor because there weren't enough. There is a mistake, my friend, it's not Choirs is chairs. I put. Uh, it, is chairs, not choirs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So uh, this it weren't enough chairs. There weren't enough chairs. Uh huh. Okay. Yes, I don't know what the, the other sentences say. Um. Well, number three, no, we say number four, Marvin. Do you have? Four. Uh, four, yes. Milk. Do you yeah. have milk in your coffee or would you like some more? Do you have enough milk in your coffee or I would you know. like some more? Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Fai, are you or show and switch on the heating or show? No, no sería a mí. What? Como de, de, no sería la por mil de leche. No. But Number five. Number four. Yes, you say number four. Yes. I say the number five. Uh, what do you say? I say in the number four, the yes. meat. Yes, yes, and I... Yes, yes, okay. Fine. Sorry. <laughs> uh, are you enough warm or shall I switch enough milk? ¿Cuándo es que lleva antes o después y no? Cuando es un nombre... Eh, no, perdón, cuando es un adjetivo, eh, va después y no. Oh. Pero cuando ah. es un noun, va antes. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Cuando es un adjetivo, va antes. Oh. Cuando es un adjetivo, va después. Cuando... Don Ignacio, you say, enough okay. for me, 
enough money, enough time, enough patience, if no, enough work, enough money. But you say uh, tall enough, big enough, short enough, easy enough. Okay. Yeah, okay. And here there is a mistake in this one. It has to be chairs. Yes. Chairs, cups, etc. Chairs, no, no, no choir. Uh -huh, no choir. It's chairs. It's correct. Chairs. Ah, uh, it's chairs. Well, you sit down. Chairs, no choir. Here is a squire, it has chairs. Okay. Would it the the spelling system correct changed it to chairs to choir and i wanted to say but okay i didn't check later so that's that was okay Small car. Teacher, we have we have doubt, a big doubt, <laughs> with number with six. number two and number six, mm -hmm. because number two said some on a, some of us uh -huh. have to sit on the floor. Uh -huh. because there weren't enough chairs the thing is oh. here oh. I mean, oh, yeah i put <laughs> I, yes chairs chair. oh, i don't understand oh my uh -huh. god uh -huh. ah, okay. the spelling system <laughs> corrected it to correct oh. it to quiet okay. Uh -huh. okay okay mm -hmm. now i understand <laughs> Yes. Okay, enough chairs. Okay. In the number six, it's only it's only a small car. There isn't enough, enough room. Room. Why room? Sorry, room means a spacio. Mm, really? Uh -huh. Not only me. Uh -huh. no, is, mm -hmm. Roomy is espacioso. Roomy. Oh my mm. goodness! Can so it work for me. <laughs> uh -huh. no. No. Yeah. Okay. Oh yes, there, I mean, mm. there isn't enough room for all of us. For example, uh, if the car is a convertible, one of those two seaters, uh, you go with one person but you cannot have three people because there isn't room. There isn't room in the car. They're just for two people, the driver and a passenger. That's it. Okay. Okay, I understand. In that way, there were room. For me, what's up? Okay. For me, the, uh, the place when you sleep. <laughs> yes, a room. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> the next slide. Mm -hmm. In this case, because. My dear students, uh, sorry to interrupt you. Um, in the, hi, in teacher. the second, the, I made, I mean, I put chairs but my spelling systems correctly to choirs is okay. chairs, not choirs okay mm -hmm. shapes is is more logic teacher uh -huh. and in the car in the car isn't enough room room means espacio there isn't enough room for all of them. Uh, okay mm -hmm. And fit is in number in number one. I'm not fit enough. Fit is in yes. physical condition. Uh -huh. I have a big problem with the edition. 
fit. In this case, is fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fit. Fit enough. In this case, is share. Right, teacher? Shares. That's correct. Yes. And I like to buy, but I don't have. In number six, room. Uh -huh. Six. Room is noun. Uh -huh. Room is a noun. There isn't enough room. Enough, enough room, room for all of us. Enough room. Right. Enough. First, some of the there is a mistake in the in the this one. It's not supposed to say choir. It has supposed to say chairs. Chairs. Uh -huh. Ah. Chairs. Con razón. Uh -huh. Ah yes. Estoy viendo en qué podemos ocupar los coros. Exactly. Uh -huh. Chairs. Ah, va. Entonces se aplica para la la segunda. Yes, yes, I was writing chairs, but the, the spelling corrector changed to choirs. And I I said choirs, I put choirs, okay. But I didn't realize that that's, that was not the word I had written. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye. Room, room means espacio. Room means. Room, so that's why the enough room. For example, in the... In the... Number, number six. second. In number six, there isn't enough room for all of us. Ah, exactly. It is only a small car. There isn't enough room for. Mm, there isn't room? enough room. Mm -hmm. okay. Room means espacio. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Ah, vaya, pues aquí hemos ocupado el big. Entonces lo podemos ocupar allá a, adelante. Es nombre seco, seco, o after the of enough. Right here. Um, but you see, you see this example in look at, in look at. Okay. Warm enough, maybe. Meal. Dear ladies, um, dear ladies, I made a mistake. In this one is not. Choirs, but it's chairs. <laughs> the spelling correct change the A, the O for an A. I mean the, the A for an O, but it's chairs. Chairs number, not name. I know. So it's for yeah. Yeah. So oh, no. uh -huh. This is chairs. The chairs. Uh -huh. Exactly. I did my trip, but it wasn't enough room to do everything I wanted. Okay. Okay, this is a good. I have a, I have a but uh, not. Okay. Okay. Take again, Sandra. Hola. Take again. Okay. Get home very far. I am not fit enough. Okay. Okay. Fit. fit. Okay. Second. Some of us sit on the floor because they were in.
for everybody. Number nine, I, I don't sure. And me too. Mm -hmm. We we have uh, five minutes for right jacket. for the correct mistake. Try this jacket on and see if it's for you. Yo, yo creo que sí. ¿En dónde pusimos? Pero tenemos que hacer otra, ¿no? Sí. ¿Otra lámina? Sí. Ah, eh, sí, estamos repitiendo. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿Cuál es la que no hemos utilizado? Mil. Solo eh, nos hace falta. Room. 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 Eh, Quiero ver. Eh, ah, hey, maybe the number 10 is room. Room. Because no. there, there weren't. No. 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 So, okay, no, no. Solo room, creo que no falta. Solo room, ok. Room. Sí, porque los demás están. Dice, sí. Sí, o Luna le falta. Sí. Sí. ¿Por qué se lo tan dos veces? Sí. My dear, nieto, my dear nietos, there is a mistake in this one, right? At the top. He has to be chairs. You put them correctly here. Chair. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. I put chairs, but the spell the, the spelling corrector changed to what, but I didn't notice. Then a room means a spacio. So mm -hmm. uh, you say, is there enough room for another chair? Is there room for another chair? Hay espacio para otra silla? Is there room for another space? So in this one is using number six. It's only a small car. There isn't enough room for all of us. Okay. In a car, there is room for six people, right? Yeah. Two people, well, for five people, two people at the front, three people at the back. In a car, there's usually room for only five people. Sometimes we squeeze other people in and we have six people, but normally it's only for five people. In number two, teacher, is uh, chairs. Chairs, that's correct. Number two is chairs. It is okay. in number six. That is room. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then number nine is a uh, big enough. Big enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. It's big enough. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Sure, this this slide no no this slide no only this only only that it's no no only this one the three twenty two oh. three twenty four ah okay teacher only a parenthesis parenthesis 
uh, we understand that we can use enough when um, no enough means su sufficient yeah and two means more than is needed mm -hmm. more than necessary okay for example and then and we was reading that you can we can use enough in the negative form sure for example in the number one no uh, does she have a driving license no she's enough 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 all enough all, all enough okay all enough ah, because we can use with an adverb and with a, an mm -hmm. adjective Exactly. Ah, okay. In this case, enough. all enough because all is the is the the ad, adjective. Mm -hmm. All enough. Ah, okay. No, she's not all enough to have a driving license. Okay. And for example, in the number five, would you like to be a politician? No, I'm too shy because he needs more to be a politician, but he is too shy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. And now this one, my God, my infinity. <laughs> we couldn't carry the boxes. They were too heavy. The boxes, the boxes. were too heavy to carry. <laughs> oh my God. The mm -hmm. boxes, the boxes were too heavy. Yeah. And then, uh -huh, the boxes were too heavy, were too heavy to carry. To carry. To, to ca carry. Uh -huh, to carry. Were too heavy to carry. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. I can't drink this coffee, it's too hot. Okay. The, this, the coffee is too hot. To drink. To drink. Drink. Ah, okay, okay. It's too hot to drink. Uh huh. Nobody could move the piano. It was too heavy. The piano it was too heavy to move. Only that to move. Okay. Too heavy. Ah, to okay, okay. Too heavy to move. Ah, okay. Wonderful. Wow. Yes. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. mm -hmm. We try. We try. Very good. Don't need these apples. They are not ripe enough. Uh, shit. Uh, shit. Fashion. Do you agree? Enough fashion. <clears throat> no. <laughs> More fashion. More passion. Oh, I don't have, yo no tengo suficiente paciencia para sentir. Es no fashion. And did you hear what he was saying? Far away. Did you hear what he was saying? No, we were. Oíste lo que dijo ella. O sea, yo estaba demasiado lejos Ajá. para escuchar lo que él estaba diciendo. Si yo te guardo igual. No, no, nosotros estábamos demasiado lejos. Too far away. Far away, yeah. Too far away, <coughs> maybe. Too far away, yes. Far. Away. Okay. Can he read a newspaper in English? No, he doesn't know to read a newspaper. No way. El... No sabe. Puede leer el periódico en inglés. No, he doesn't know. To English. 
English. Efficient English. That's a no. Enough English. Enough English. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher patient is now patient or is adjective. Patient is a patient. 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 But it's, it's we, I, e is a noun. Enough patience. Patient enough. Patient. Uh, patient enough. Enough patience. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's okay. It's, you, it was correct. It was okay, yes, because it's a noun. Look, patience. In this case, it's, it's noun. It's a noun. It's enough. It, with a T, it's an adjective. No. Patience. 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 Ah, okay. Y paciente, the adjective? It's with a T. It's with a T, you say patient. Patient, patient. Patient. Okay. Patient. Okay. In, patient. Okay, in this case, Enough English. Porque el verbo es is. El Teacher. Verbo is. Tell me, señorita. <laughs> we, we have a doubt. About? Eh, about the, the third exercise, for example. Uh, in number one, uh, the boxes were too heavy to carry. Is correct. Yes. I know. We, uh -huh. couldn't, sí, sí, sí. we sí. couldn't carry the boxes. They were too heavy to carry. The boxes were too heavy to carry. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, in number two, it is this coffee is too hot. To drink. This, for example, this coffee is too hot to drink. It's and, correct. Yes, it's correct. And in a, no. the piano was too heavy to move. The piano was too heavy to move. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. No, that was great. <sighs> Over the answers together. So we're going to go back to the main group. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's go over the answers. Quickly, let me see. Let me see, I hope that this doesn't bully me. Okay. Fit. We say, I'm not fit enough. In this one, there weren't enough chairs. Okay. Sorry that I made a mistake. In number three. Oh, money? Enough money. Uh huh, exactly. Enough money. Excellent. And in this one, no, mean. Uh -huh. enough sugar is right, or what is it? Enough milk. Enough milk. I use milk. 
Yes. Enough milk. Okay. Do you have enough milk in your coffee? Okay. Number five. Are you warm you enough? Time enough? Warm enough? Warm enough is calent suficientemente calentito, right? Are you warm enough or shall I switch on the heating? Okay. You warm is a verb or adjective, teacher? Warm is an adjective. Adjective, thanks. Tibio. Mm -hmm. Well, not tibio, but calentito. Nice, okay. Tibio is, uh, is another thing. It's uh, a tip bit different. Check over here. It's only a small car. There isn't. enough, there isn't enough room for all of us. Steve didn't feel well enough to go to work. Well enough to go to work this morning. I enjoyed my trip to Paris, but there wasn't enough time Sorry, enough time to do everything I want. Try this jacket on, see if it's big enough for you. Big enough for you. In number 10, they weren't. What do you need for coffee? Cups. There weren't enough cups. Uh. There weren't enough cups for everybody to have coffee at the same time. Right. Now the, the, the other one, does she have a driving license? No, she's, she isn't old enough. So this is complete with two or enough, but you have old enough to have a driver's license. And in this one, I need to talk to you about something. Well, I'm afraid I'm too busy to talk to you now. Too busy. Too busy, too busy to talk to you now. Let's go to the cinema. Oh, no, it's too late. It's too late to go to the cinema. It's too late to go to the cinema now. Let's go some other day. Why don't we sit outside? No, it's not warm enough. It's not warm enough outside, it's too cold. Okay, would you like to be a politician? No, I'm too shy. I'm too shy to be a politician. Would you like to be a teacher? No, I don't have enough patience. I don't have enough patience to be a teacher. Did you hear what he was saying? No, we were too far away. We were too far away to hear what he was saying. Can you read the newspaper in English? No. Can he read a, a newspaper in English? No. He doesn't know enough English to read a newspaper. He doesn't know enough English to read a newspaper. Don't take notes. I'm going to send this one to you after class. Okay, and the last one, this is the last one, is this. We could carry the boxes. We couldn't carry the boxes. The boxes were too heavy. To carry. The boxes were too heavy to carry. I can't drink this coffee, it's too hot. 
this coffee is too hot to drink. Mm. Too hot to drink. Nobody could move the piano. The piano was too heavy to move. Don't eat these apples. They are not ripe enough. These apples aren't ripe enough. Aren't ripe enough to eat. I can't explain the situation. It's too complicated. The situation is too complicated to explain. To explain. We couldn't climb over the wall. It was too high. The wall was too high to climb. You can say to climb over. Okay. The the wall was too high to climb over. Three people can sit on this sofa. It isn't big enough. Mm -hmm. This sofa isn't mm -hmm. big enough to sit on. Sorry, Molly. To sit on. Okay. And the last one, you can't see some things without a microscope. They're too small. Some things are too small. To see. Too small to see without a microscope. Okay. Wonderful. That's it. Those were, those were the sentences. Okay. So I'm going to send you the answers to your, and my apologies for this mistake. I actually, I didn't double check it because there was a lot, there were a lot of things that I was working on. I didn't have time to check it later. So that's why. Okay. But anyhow, not an excuse. So, okay, let's check who's here and who isn't here. But today, who's going to be with me? Today, okay. Today is February the 7th. Lourdes Beatriz is going to be. Lourdes is going to stay with me today. Okay. Okay, teacher. Excellent. Now, Let's check. Let's let's check who's here. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares. Present. Excellent. Um, Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Present. Excellent. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ana Michelle Guevara. Present. Excellent. Angela de Jesus Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent. Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present teacher. Excellent. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Here. Excellent. Guadalupe de Carmen López. Present. Excellent. Jose Carlos Segueta. Present teacher. Excellent. Lourdes Beatriz Iglesia. I'm here. Excellent. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Present teacher. Excellent. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Excellent. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present teacher. Good night. Excellent. Good night, my friend. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Excellent. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Present, good night. Excellent, good night. 
Roselena Salgado. Present. Excellent. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present teacher, good night. And good night. Jancy Lisbeth Hernandez. Okay. Sulmar Rosaura Lopez. Present. Excellent. Flor de Maria Carvalho. Okay. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Rene Osvaldo Bonilla. Present teacher, I'm here. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernandez. Present. Excellent. Dani Anthony Sigüenza. Dani Sadalberto Fuentes. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Excellent. Eduardo okay. Hernandez. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher. Excellent. And Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, my dear ones, thank you very much for attending. Um, and uh, I apologize to one of you who is sick. Send me a message to WhatsApp, but I saw it just until late that you said that you were sick and that you couldn't participate because you were sick. I hope that you get better, right? Take care of yourself. And I hope that you get better, okay? Let's see. Now, so it's going to be only, uh, it's going to stay with me. The other people go to bed. <laughs> Teacher, we have to do the homework. Yes, Jan C, can you please? Ah, uh, here, yeah, okay. Excellent, Jan C. Yes, you're present, don't worry. Okay. Good night, my dear ones. Thank you yourself. Sleep well, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Good see night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Hello. Good night, everybody. Good night, I'll send you the document later, all right? Good night, Bye, everybody. Bye, take care. Good night, sleep. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care. Sleep well. Thanks. Good. Yes. Okay. Now, Senorita, what questions do you have? How can I help you? Mm. Uh, only for the, the moment, teacher, uh, I believe that uh, I study more the use of enough and to, because um, in some sentences, for example, I confuse when they use mm -hmm. um, um maybe in in some sentences i believe uh, the use the the use to is was correct in the sentences and no uh, the use was enough uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. only try to remember enough mm -hmm. means sufficient and um, okay. for example, if there is an age that is necessary, like for example, mm -hmm. to vote, if you are 17 years old, you cannot vote because you are not mm -hmm. old enough to vote. However, mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go to school during the day, uh, you, you, if you are older than 18, you are too old to go to school. You have to go at night, right? If you are older than 18, you cannot go to school during the day. You have to go to school at night because you are too mm -hmm. old. Uh -huh. This is the way we use it. So little practice and little by little, you will improve. I'm going to send the document yes. after the class, okay? Do you okay. have any other question? Mm, for the moment, only teacher. Okay, very good then. Then I let you go and do the homework, okay? I let you do 
go and do the homework and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for staying. Okay, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Goodbye. Good night. Take care of yourself. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. See you.